Howdy folks, it's Kato again with another third party Transformers review. Today I'm going to take a look at ZC03 Silver Arrow. It's Zeta's Superatron mini version of Silver Bolt. And it is all of the parts you need included in this box to build Superion as long as you have the other aerial bots from Zeta. So without further ado, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro, start looking at Superatron mini Zeta Silver Arrow ZC03. Legend Scale Silver Bolt. It's Kato. Like always, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the packaging. And just like most other Zeta packaging, you get a big splash page here of Silver Arrow, Silver Bolt in his. Alt mode and robot mode, Superatron Mini, Silver Era ZC03, Superatron Mini on the side or on the top on the side, you get a little schematic of alt mode, other side schematic of bot mode on the back, you get just some more art front back and alt mode of Silver Arrow. Let's see what's inside the box. As I said, included in that box is everything you need to create Superatron. They are legend scale Superion. You get the body mold, the two head sculpts, hands, chest plate, feet. You get uh, Silver Bolt's gun, which combines with Superion's gun to make one whole piece. You get some wings and a pad for the feet and the wings for the chest. All of this you can take a closer look at in my uh, Superion review that I did prior to this. And of course you get the instructions for completing Superion as well as transforming Silverbolt, which I will actually transform Silverbolt here on camera. I've already done Superion. You can check that video in the Zeta Superion playlist. And that takes us right to Silver Arrow, Silverbolt, Legend Scale. I have always had a soft spot for Silverbolt because he was one of, he was the Lamborghini of aircraft at the time in the 80s. The Concorde, the supersonic passenger jet, such an awesome, it was almost mythological, this thing. Everyone heard of it, but nobody ever saw it. The wealthy were able to climb on board and jet across the globe, supersonic speeds. It was such an awesome idea for a jet and completely retired now. Uh, one cool thing about this is it allows you, uh, it breaks the sculpt up a little bit, but you can do the little drop nose here that the Concorde would do. Very cool little aspect. You've got yellow for the windows in there. You've got a bunch of white decals here on the back or tampograph here on the back. Yellow, beautiful Concorde jet mode. It doesn't tab together exceptionally well. If I breathe on it wrong, these tabs right here are going to pop up. But once you get it, it looks phenomenal. Of course, just like the old Silver Bolt, 90% uh, of the robot is just tucked away underneath. But I think they do a really good job of tucking it away underneath without being so obvious. Uh, overall, the alt mode is absolutely beautiful. I love it. You've got... Uh, some kind of faux landing gear here on the front and back where the feet are and up here where the head covers up but it is a oh well, there you go just that little piece right there wants to come untabbed all the time but again once you get it set it at least looks phenomenal for some quick size comparison there he is beside magic squares breakdown in alt mode new age jazz masterpiece sunstreaker and the rest of the aerial bots team from zeta now, before I get into transformation, I did want to say something, and maybe you guys can help me out if you have this set already. I have found nowhere to tab the weapon in in alt mode. I've tried a few different spots, and I just can't find anywhere for it to store in alt mode, which is disappointing. So hopefully I'm wrong, and you guys can help me out on that. On Cybertron since before the primes first turned the high beams on. Ride along with the pride of Ironhide. I'll be kind, recording everything like rewind. I am the all spark alpha to Zeta Prime. Diaclone, way ahead of my time. Optimus Primal, transforming with a monkey on my spinal. 
Stunt that comes junkie on Crack guy, turn you into a trash can With the wreckers, ready for my last stand The OG G1 got you tripping on My whole body of work Tripticon, inflict upon like Scorponok, fast track They forgot I was a leader like Rat Bat Flipping scripts inside Thundercracker You'll never change me back, Ashen Master Cybertron is Sir Cybertron's chronicler Transforming my thoughts into a monitor So you can see now roll in your odometer I'm no pawn, I'm more than meets the moniker Cybertron is Sir Cybertron's chronicler Transforming my thoughts into a monitor So you can see now roll in your odometer I'm no pawn, I'm more than meets the moniker Cybertron, side swipe or sideways if you ride bikes to fire types on a night beat. I write sights, street wives on more beats than prowl. Live through the wars of the beasts as an owl. More than meets the eye, the more you learn though. Like grapple looks sort of like Orange Inferno. Come on, I know you know it's weird. Like how does Alpha Trion grow a beard in my world? I don't hear Bumblebee mumbling. I'm too busy running things like Thunderwing. Keep bumbling while I brainstorm with Chrome Dome. Tell a friend to tell Teletran to phone home. Then tell it like it is. Keep applying facts. Remember who you are first, like Orion Pax. Till all are one, go ask G-Axis. Don't get a big head, Fortress Maximus. Cybertron is Sir Cybertron's chronicler. Transforming my thoughts into a monitor. So you can see now rolling your odometer. I'm no pawn, I'm more than meets the moniker. Cybertron is Sir Cybertron's chronicler. Transforming my thoughts into a monitor. So you can see now rolling your odometer. I'm no pawn, I'm more than meets the moniker. And now you're left with Silverbolt in his robot mode. And honestly, it looks beautiful. It's pretty darn spot on with how I would expect Silverbolt to look. You've got the yellow in his arms and legs, yellow spots there or yellow squares there on his thighs. You do have some die cast in there. I will say the transformation is sloppy. And I think from what I understand, the MP was a lot like that as well. The backpack is kind of a mess if you touch it a little bit the wrong way these tabs are going to come out all that being said once if you get it where it needs to be i mean it does pretty well he's not he's not shaky nothing seems to want to fall apart uh, it looks the part the head sculpt is beautiful those blue eyes that nice little smirk in the square head the chest looks great uh, i think i could tab that in a little better but it the only major qc issue i have is the right arm does not want to lock in and I can struggle with that as much as I want and it just won't lock in uh, the slider there the left arm no problem clicks right away that's really it so I mean it's fine it's just a bit jittery if you move it around too much but messing with it it's fine cosmetically that's silver bolt I mean there's no question it looks like a miniature version of the MP silver bolt they have I like the transformation. I think it's fun, albeit, like I say, a bit of a mess. Articulation, head is on a ball joint. It will do pretty much anything you need it to. Uh, it just slides inside here. Nothing outrageous, nothing crazy. Arms will rotate a full 360. They'll go out straight. You've got rotation at the upper bicep. Mine is really tight. Double jointed elbow bend and rotation at the wrist the waist you can rotate it does you could rotate it 360 the backpack's going to get in the way you do have a bit of an ab crunch the legs would go uh well there's a hip skirt here that can get in the way but out up back 90 degrees of knee bend rotation at the upper thigh uh toe tilt uh and ankle uh, rocker there really good honestly for a legend scale and i love the way the end result of this is. For a quick size comparison, there he is beside Magic Square and New Age. And there you have the full Aerial Bot team in their robot mode. Final thoughts on ZCO3 Arrow, Zeta's Legend Scale Silver Bolt. It is not perfect, but the end result is pretty phenomenal. Um, it's it's sloppy to transform. It's It feels fiddly. The backpack's kind of fiddly. But again, I mean, you can see that came untabbed there. But once you get everything just right, it feels good. But the trip to getting it just right is a pain in the neck a little bit. 
uh, end results are great. Uh, only real major QC issue or something that doesn't operate the way it was intended. This uh, right arm, the, the slider joint here, doesn't really affect anything. It's just loose and it doesn't want to click into place there at the bottom, but it doesn't affect the end result really. So it is what it is. Uh, as far as the entire team together, I think they look amazing. And as I've said, I've already reviewed Superion and the end result of that is, is really good too. Uh, overall, highly recommend this set. It's a fairly affordable set in the grand scheme of things if you're looking for a, a, a representation of Superion or the aerial bots in your collection. So you can't really go wrong. I got mine from Toy Dojo. Uh, you can check the link in the description for that. Uh, but it's available at other retailers as well. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. Today's video featured music by Word Burglar. For more information, check out wordburglar.com or the link in the description below. I'd also like to thank Junkie Dave for It's Kato, my intro theme song.